I'm, you know, I'm tired, and I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't like up working last night, I was just playing video games and watching YouTube, <laughs> it was the weekend, so today's Monday, yesterday was Sunday, I took a break from work, I worked Saturday, so shut the fuck up, uh, today I've got a few meetings, cause I'm hiring a new ad manager for social flight. I think that's about it. Besides that, just regular work. Shower completed, and now the next thing I need to do is just clean this room up for sure. I can't work with it like this, just all messy. All right, yeah, that looks pretty good. Bed made, desk clean. Now it's time to make some coffee. Dead Man's Reach coffee. Yep. A good old coffee shot. All right, coffee's done, but wait until you see this bullshit. Ah, fun. But for real, check this out. This desk pisses me off, man. I spent like five or six hundred dollars on this freaking desk. Seville Air Classics Airlift or whatever the fuck it's called. It always fucks up. Look at this. All tilted. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 8.10 a.m. 20 minutes away from the first meeting of the day and I have to deal with this horse shit. I'd understand if I got like a cheap knockoff version. But this is like a freaking $600 desk. It's brand new basically too, I just got it. All right, we, we unplugged and plugged it in. Let's see what that does. Well, here we go, it's gonna work this time. Fuck! Attempt number three. All right, I think it's working. But I just spilled my coffee. Electronic, normal desk. Oh my god! All right, so we got this desk fixed. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 8.20 a.m. 8.20 a.m., 10 minutes, out. So now I gotta clean up this coffee and then get ready as quick as I can. Ooh, I'm a thin thing. I'm gonna do a vlog today. Ooh, it's gonna go great. Something I've been trying to do lately is, even though I work from home, I've recently just started dressing nice. I got a new saying, and it's dress nicer for your own company than you would for somebody else's company. So, that's what I'm doing, basically. We've got the social flight shirt. Mandatory and it's going pretty good. I feel pretty productive throughout the day with my fresh clothes on. It makes me feel professional anytime I take a phone call or have to do a meeting or anything. Just feel on point. It's 8.24 a.m. 8.24 a.m. Six minutes out. It's 8.35 though, I'm officially five minutes late. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 8.35 a.m. So, I'm just gonna hop on. Be like, oh, sorry dude, I was in another meeting. <laughs> Literally doesn't know. I was having a, a heroic battle with my desk and cleaning up spilt coffee. Just Mando routine for the morning. Go. Yeah, to be honest, like, I, I, studied, I studied in the in North Carolina for a year, uh, about, probably about four or five years ago now, and that was like that was really fun, but like what I found is that a lot of Americans like they, on your radar that you want to see first. Uh, not really. I'm going to Utah in a couple of days actually. So this week. There you go. Okay, that, I've just moved the meeting yeah. to tomorrow at uh, 4.30 my time, so I think that's good. That uh, actually uh, stay on the website. Uh, on average time, that is uh, uh, significantly less than what the Google Organics uh, brings. Okay, 
just finished the call with Grigor. Grigor seems pretty cool. Nice dude. Seems down to earth. Um, yeah, man, it's always really hard. You go through these calls with these people and you talk to them, you know, for like 30 minutes, you get to know them. And then you got to tell them like, okay, you know, I'm going to go talk to some other people and see what they have to say. And then at the end, you got to pick somebody, man. You got to tell them, you got to tell the other guys that, you know, it didn't work. Both of the guys I've, I've talked to so far seem pretty cool and they seem like they're really experienced. So that's when it becomes even harder when they're all good choices and then you got to pick one. I've got two full-time employees right now. Um... And they're freaking awesome. I just hired them recently and that's been cool. They manage the day-to-day -day work of social flight um, so that I can do, you know, founder, CEO type shit like this. Um, hiring people that need to be hired, optimizing the website, optimizing conversions, you know, increasing revenue. But Upwork is a totally different environment. Upwork is like freelancer based. Um, you pick somebody, it's not like you're hiring them, you're not you're not bringing them on board officially. They're basically, they're basically contractors. Finished the 8.30 meeting, just finished the nine o'clock meeting, and we're actually ahead of schedule. I did have four meetings today, but now I have six meetings because a couple people booked a meeting for Social Flight, and Christian, somebody that works at Social Flight, um, he just texted me and said that, he said he wants to start helping with phone calls. So that'll be pretty cool. I'm gonna give one of these meetings to him so he can try it out and see how he likes it and maybe phone calls will be something Christian starts doing for social flight he knows the service really well so I think he'll do good at it but for somebody like me phone calls took a long time to get used to I'm not like a super social person I get kind of awkward on conversations I'm getting better at it now but especially in the beginning dude like I'd get nervous for phone calls if that's you I'm telling you right now, the only way to get over it is to just do it. Like I've watched a million videos on YouTube, how to be good at phone calls, how to sell on the phone. And you know, they're cool, there's good tips, but they don't really help you in, in like uh, when it actually comes down to it. The only thing that helps is actually doing it. So I've been taking these phone calls lately and I'm getting better at it, man. I'm taking a phone call, no problem now, sell to them, and get on with my day. Yo. Hey, what's up? What's going on, man? Uh, I just got your text. So you want to start trying to do some phone calls? Person or Cindy? Uh, um, she's been what? I think she's been with us over a month now. Maybe she's still in her first month, but it, I, yeah, she's got a familiar name too. Yeah, and it seems like she's gonna stay a while. And I, I think this is like my second or third phone call with her, and so like, it definitely seems like a relationship building thing, like. Right, and that's and that's mainly what I was trying to do on too. I was like. I mean, I'm going to put that 12 o'clock one, so I'll give you a call closer to the end. Cool, sounds good, man. All right, later, bro. See ya. It's 9.50 right now. Got a meeting in nine minutes. I got like five hours of sleep last night, so I'm going to go make another cup of coffee before this meeting real quick. All right, uh, I decided to just go outside and get some sun during this break. Uh, it's been surprisingly rainy and snowy here in Southern California. Dude, it's super nice out today. The sun is shining. We're gonna go do this last meeting with a potential ad manager, and I'm freaking tired today. Hi, John. Okay, Jack. How we doing? Thank you for your patience. Yeah, no problem. The fifty-four hundred dollars a month, and then uh, you know we got a couple things we'd be doing for you, like installing Google Tag working with your developer and things like that during the site transition. Yep, okay, cool, sounds good. All right. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I finished that meeting with John, and uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna go with him because um, something just didn't feel right about him, and he, he kept talking about pricing. Like, I don't, I don't care what the pricing is, the whole point is to get results. If you can bring me the results that I want, I'll pay you basically anything. I feel like that's not how you get a client, is with pricing, um, and his pricing was already low anyways, and then he was like, saying he'll lower it more. He's like, I'll lower it more, you know, to prove myself. And, you know, which is cool. 
I just don't think he's the right fit for Social Flight with the type of ad budget that Social Flight's currently running. Seems like a cool dude though, I'm sure um, he's right for a different type of client. We do have two that seemed really cool. Uh, Grigor and Daniel seemed awesome. Grigor seemed like an honest dude, seemed like he's really ready to get in there and start optimizing these campaigns. Um, Daniel seemed the same way. I think Grigor is a freelancer and I think Daniel is an agency. Um, Daniel seemed really cool, especially because he said they also work with landing page optimization, which I'm super big on. I don't know if I'll need his help, but uh, at least that he's in tune with it is a good sign. So he, he knows what we need to do. And I think he's ready to jump in there and do some good work too. Um, and then tomorrow we rescheduled that call with Aaron. Just from the introduction with Aaron, he seemed like he was pretty cool too. So I'm guessing it's going to be these three that I'm deciding between, unless the meeting just bombs with Aaron tomorrow and then it's going to be two. But, and then the hard part comes, which is picking one. You know, you gotta pick one. I wish I could choose them all, but uh, pick one, try him for a while. And if he doesn't work, move on to the next one and test him out. Um, right after that meeting, I had a call with someone for social flight. My energy was all high, so I basically just attacked this guy on the phone. <laughs> it's 1141 now. I got the first social flight meeting at 12, so about 18 minutes. Uh, I'll get Christian on the phone before I call them and then make it a three-way call so Christian can um, get his feet wet uh, call, making calls for social flight. Actually, no, I think Christian's doing this one. Christian's doing this call and I'm gonna be on there with him in case he needs help. Uh, fastest way to learn. Someone just requested another phone call on the live chat. I might as well take it since I'm doing meetings and phone calls anyways today. Um, stay on that roll. All right. Hi, this is Jack with Social Flight. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? So I took a break for like an hour, just super tired today, so I just sat back and kicked it for a little bit. I got the gym in about 30 minutes, so right now I'm going to set up a task list on my computer. Uh, I like to set up a task list, normally I do it at the beginning of the day, but I had so many meetings today and I didn't really need it. But I, I set up this list, just a, basically a list of tasks I want to get done throughout the day. And then I uh, try to adhere to it as much as possible throughout the day. And it really helps me stay on track, especially moving towards specific goals. If I don't set up a task list, a task, that's hard to say, task list, um, I find myself getting lost. And then even if I'm not lost, even if I'm doing task, by the end of the day, I'm like, did those really contribute to my end goal? Um, so yeah, uh, being able to set up a list allows you to look through it and say, do each one of these are each one of these things like the most important thing I can be doing right now to reach my goal the fastest way possible so I'm just looking over um, the revenue reports right now for this month this month is actually pretty low average gross daily sales of thirteen hundred dollars um, yeah pretty low but that's just because we're making changes and we're moving to a new website so we haven't been going hard on this website but I'm confident that once we launch the new website and upgrade our marketing, um, all the work I've been doing in the past month or so is going to come together and this is going to go way, way up. Um, but we've still been going hard today. Me and Christian have been taking phone calls and kind of just going hard on sales for some reason today. And we're at $513 in new signups today. So that's super good. That's just new signups, not renewals. And yeah, man, super good. Um, so I'll show you why I like subscription businesses and not just one-time sale businesses. Um, we've had freaking um, $27,000 in renewal revenue this month. That's sales that we didn't have to make again. It's just renewals. Someone signs up, they renew it the next month and they don't cancel. And that is the beauty of the subscription-based businesses. That's why I always recommend subscription-based businesses because all this work we did to get these $27,000 in sales, it's paying off again and again and again, month after month. Um, so yeah, I suggest subscription-based businesses if you're looking for a business to start.
All right, so just chilling before the gym. Sam should be here about 3.40, and it's 3.36, so I think he's gonna be a little bit later than that, but yeah, man. Um, vlog is almost coming to an end today. It was cool. Um, I don't do a lot of these because it takes a lot of time. Uh, it didn't seem like I filmed much, but surprisingly I did, you know, setting up the camera, making sure it's on, making sure I'm in frame, turning the camera off, putting it away, charging it. Um, it takes a lot of work and it kind of takes me off my game, so that's why I don't do a whole lot of these vlogs, but I don't know, if I can get good at it and so that it doesn't take as much effort, maybe I'll do it. And if I do do it like, um, like daily vlogs or weekly vlogs, I'm, I'm gonna have to hire an editor too because the editing takes longer than the filming and that's just like time that I probably shouldn't be putting into that. So I should be putting time into the business and not so much time into vlogs, but you know, vlogs cool, vlogging's cool. I'd like to do it. So maybe I'll hire an editor and start putting more out. Um, if you're an editor watching this, email me jack at socialflight.co or drop me a dm on instagram and let me know if you can edit it doesn't have to be anything crazy just cut out the shit leave the good stuff be honest i'll probably cut the vlog off there if if you have any questions or if i can help you with anything questions uh, about business uh, feel free to drop me a dm on instagram i'd be happy to help um, if you need help thinking of a business idea I dropped the video uh, the one before this on how to think of a business idea um, and not conform into drop shipping or Amazon FBA um, thinking of an original business idea uh, that you can build up recurring revenue with and I think it's a good strategy so check it out and uh, thanks for watching this vlog and uh, stay tuned for more, I guess, if I drop another one. Look at that, 7.21 degrees.